this is not noise down here what's going on here this is the voltage sag and this is coming back up and then here's another basically like a full throttle and then it comes back up and the same thing here you know you could totally see what's going on with the voltage and what's really happening and you might say okay well how would it look like if if i don't know what's really going on Hey, what is up guys? And today we're going to be taking a look at a new product and it's called the Sunny Sky FPV Racing Combo. Now what they provide you in this combo here is four motors and four ESCs. And what we will be doing today is actually testing these ESCs for noise and seeing how well they stack up against other ESCs. So let's go ahead and take a look at this. First of all, the packaging is absolutely phenomenal. Obviously it was in a better condition. Uh, because I've opened this before just to see what comes inside. So as you can tell, we get the four ESCs, Sunny Sky R45, 2-6S LiPos, and they are BL Heli S ESCs. They're not BL Heli 32 ESCs. So they are pretty massive, and we're going to get their dimensions in a little bit. And as you can tell here, they do provide also some heat shrink. So let's move these guys to the side real quick. So we get one two, three, and four ESCs. We also get these motors. Now, the motors here are the Sunny Sky R2305 2480KV. Now, these are very good motors. I have used them, and they perform like premium motors, which I highly recommend because I do have them on, on a couple quads, which I really do enjoy flying. So let's just remove, let's see what else is in this packaging here. All right, so what's left in the box is the hardware for each motor, as well as a heat shrink for each ESC. And uh, there's nothing extra. So what we get is basically, like I mentioned, the four ESCs and the four premium motors, as you can tell, they're really nice here. All right, so let's take a closer look at one of the ESCs here. Now, first of all, the packaging was, just screams absolutely premium. It's very nice packaging from, uh, from Sunny Sky here. And they even provide you with 14 gauge motor wires, which I'll be removing here because I'm not gonna need these here. And I don't think anyone's gonna need them. Now, as you can tell here, filtration looks very good because don't forget, this is supposed to be rated up for a 6S and it's a pretty massive board. To get it in perspective, let's actually get its measurement real quick. So width is around 18 millimeters and the length, it's, it's pretty long here. And that's what she said. <laughs> All right, so 38.61. So we can say around 39 millimeters in length and we said 18 millimeters, I think in width. Yes, 18. Yeah, we could say 18 millimeters in width here. So it's a pretty big ESC here. Uh, obviously they do provide you with the motor wires. So yeah, I'll be removing these wires here. Now filtration looks really, really, really good. Uh, it does have quite a few capacitors. We have a fat capacitor right here, and we also have more caps here. We got a little tantalum, and I think this is an LDO regulator, which is possibly very good to be used here because they're a lot better at handling noise than a switching regulator. So overall, um, it looks really nice, and we're going to go ahead and start preparing everything to get it tested. Now, I will not be testing it with their motors here because their motors run pretty smooth, and we need to test these with harsh motors to get an idea of how good uh, these are going to perform here. And also, another thing, don't forget to hit the bell icon down below it's just so you don't miss an upload because I'm going to have a lot more interesting things up on the way. And uh, yeah, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed. So uh, let me prepare everything and let's just get testing. All right, so let's check out the results here. Now, before going into the results, I wanted to mention something that I noticed 
outside of the results while I was having it run, which is I've never had an ESC output so much power into the motor. Now I didn't measure this, but I just noticed this from the amount of pull it had on the table and it basically almost broke the arms off of the quad, which is incredible. So I think they're using some really good MOSFETs with some very low resistance. Now I can tell you for sure the MOSFETs are really, really good. So let's get started here. Uh, so here we have the throttle noise level test and on the right we have the simulated aggressive flight maneuvers. Now for the throttle noise level test we have 10% throttle, which is this line, 25, 50, 75% and 100% throttle and on the right here we have the simulated aggressive flight maneuvers and on the bottom we have the same exact uh, testing results however the bottom ones are graphed so let's get started now let's take a look at the throttle noise here the throttle noise looks really good it's very consistent especially between you don't even see the difference between 50% and 75% which you know usually 75% noise is almost 50 times more which you would have a higher amplitude which is not really good what you want to see is you want to see a line like this here so the the thought of mid throttle oscillations here from the terms of electrical noise should be non-existent on this ESC here which is really nice to see now, if we take a look at the similar aggressive flight maneuvers, this is where it really counts. And this is running clean here. And why do I say that? Well, there isn't a lot of fluctuations going on. There is some fluctuation, but it's keeping the overall amplitude to a minimum. Now, let's start comparing it to get a better idea. So let's bring in, I think it's the second or third best ESC, which is the DYS Aria ESC. Uh, the single, not the 4 in 1. The 4 in 1 is not that great. Let's take a look at the throttle. And let's take a look at the simulated aggressive flight maneuvers. As you can tell here, the amplitude it's keeping is very, very consistent. As you can tell here, there's more escaping the main voltage. So the red is where the voltage was at most of the time. And as you can tell here that the Sunny Sky R45 is handling it very well. It's, it's doing way better, not way better, but it's doing better than the DYS Aria. So it automatically beats the DYS Aria. However, the DYS Aria excels in the in two facts that it has current sensing, BL Heli 32, and it's a little bit smaller. So this comes back to you. The DYS Aria is still a very good ESC. So is the R45. It's a little bit better ESC, which is really nice to see here. Now, since it made it in the top five list, let's compare it to the best ESC. So you also get another idea here. So here's the throttle. It's a Tico 32, obviously, and nothing has beaten it till this day. And I don't think anything will. Anything, something will just match it. So this is basically a perfect result. This is just ridiculously crazy. Uh, I've never seen ESC perform like this. As you can tell, <laughs> this is just awesome here. So this is how the top graph here would be how the best ESC, and which is theoretically almost a perfect result on an ESC ever because these this is not noise down here. What's going on here? This is the voltage sag, and this is coming back up, and then here's another basically like a full throttle, and then it comes back up, and the same thing here. You know, you could totally see what's going on with the voltage and what's really happening, and you might say, okay, well, how would it look like if if I don't know what's really going on? Well, here's a really good example. I'm gonna bring you this ESC, which it's a four-in-one ESC, but it should give you a better perspective. Uh, for example, here. You really can't tell what the hell it was doing. You can tell maybe, oh, that was kind of a full throttle, but what the hell was this, you know? Here you could see that. That was maybe, what, 25, 50% throttle voltage sag right there. Here you have no idea what the hell's going on. So this is what you really don't want to see. And uh, this is doing really good so far. Uh, let's put it into another perspective. Here's another 6S ESC that was recently released. It's called the Flycolor X-Cross. And uh, let's take a look at its noise graph. Now this one is a pretty good ESC as well. It's almost it's a little bit less than the DYS Aria, but still a pretty decent ESC. However, I don't know how how well it run on a 6S. I truly believe the R45 will handle 6S a lot better than other ESCs. And we're gonna have a 6S shootout very soon on the channel. Uh, whoop, there it is. There's a the cr fly cross. I just got mixed up here. All right. So here is the. Fly color X, I'll just make sure I was recording here. All right, so as you can tell here that the R45 is doing a lot better, obviously. Um, you, 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 you could still see what it's doing, the X crosses. I'm not saying the X cross is a bad ESC. I'm just saying the R45 is a better ESC. And uh, overall, it's a really good package, to be honest, especially with these motors. These motors were really, really good, actually. Uh, they were my favorite for a while until the T motors came out and basically destroyed everything. But for overall package, uh, plus their motors run a lot smoother so you have even better performance better noise result because those mo motors are super smooth 
So it'll probably perform as good as a Tico 32, especially running on a 6S. Uh, with those motors, I think you'll have a monster on your hand. And, well, I think that's going to include it for this video, guys. I really hope it was useful to someone out there. Please consider joining my Patreon. Help support this channel. Keep going. Bringing in this type of information if you find it useful and helping you make educated purchases. Now, if I do help you, please check the links down below. If you could use my affiliate links, that'd be great. And uh, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and as well as hitting that bell icon so you don't miss an upload. That all really supports the channel. And if you guys have any questions or any suggestions, feel free to let me know. And I will see you in the next one. Peace out, guys.